Hey there, hobby homesteaders. Welcome back to Peaks Peak. T today we're gonna show you how to fix one of your cobalt power tool batteries if it won't take a charge. So do you ever have one of your batteries that you put it on your charger and the light starts flashing red when you press the battery health button and it flashes as though the battery is completely dead, you put it on the charger and it won't take a charge. We had exactly that and we're gonna show you how to fix it with nothing more than a little bit of wire. Super simple. When one of these batteries won't take a charge like that, it's because it is discharged so far that it doesn't register on the charger. And so the charger doesn't know what to do with it. And what we need to do is put a little bit of juice in that battery so that it has enough charge for the charger to pick it up and then it will start making a charge on that battery. And actually adding a little bit of juice to that from one of your other batteries is just super simple. What I have here is a piece of heavy gauge speaker wire that is marked with the uh, a little white line on one of the wires so I can tell which one is which. Your batteries are marked with positive and negative. And all you're going to do is take this wire and jump negative to negative and positive to positive. We're using the white side as our negative. Instantly we are showing some juice now. Let's see if that's enough. And this battery here is the one that we added just a little bit of juice to. Now she is flashing green and taking a charge. And I only leave it connected for 10 or 15 seconds just to put enough juice in the battery so that the charger will pick it up. And when you do that, take that battery, stick it on your charger, and it will fully charge. And I can tell you, actually, the situation that I have is not an old battery. It's an actu actually a brand new battery out of a two-pack that I bought and really just don't want to fool with taking it back. So I think the battery will be just fine. And if it's not, it has a three-year warning. So if it doesn't last very long or if this doesn't work, then I could obviously take it back and trade it in. But rather than waste a trip to Lowe's, I'm gonna use this method to get it to take a charge. So now at this point, I can tell you, I left the battery on the charger until it was fully charged, then the light turned green, and I put that battery in my new buffer polisher. And I worked on my trailer all evening yesterday evening and that battery didn't run down. So seems like a good healthy battery. It's taking a charge easily now, so no issues. And all I did was take that wire jump some power from an old battery onto the new battery so that it would register on the charger, plugged it into the charger, let it fully charge. So if you have a problem with one of your batteries not taking, taking a charge, this might help you to give that battery a boost so that you can continue using it. I hope this tip helps somebody out and I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a good day.